seats so they come down and have their sit down and have their afternoon cup of tea. Oh, over there. Yeah. 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 So there's got to be a, a track. Somewhere it takes us to the weir. So where is said track? Here we are. <coughs> this looks like it might be a track. This doesn't take us to the weir. Takes us to a dead body. And someone's lunch. Welcome to day 12 of the making of the Lumpine documentary. We're currently at a weir between Camden and Poverty. We've done one weir, we have two more to do today. And then we're off to the junction of where the Bargo comes into the pen. We look forward to uh, any comments that you'd like to make. I hope you enjoy. What a day. Finding this weir is turning out to be a bit tricky. So, with camera in hand, we set off to find a way down. I'm Graham. Do I need to tell you? I'm Jeff. Following Graham to this weir did prove difficult because there wasn't one. <laughs> we could hear the water cascading over the weir, so we knew we were close. This is obviously not the side from which the weir was built. So sit back and watch as we fumble around trying to get access. We made it through all that bracken. Now we've come onto another area that's got stairs, obviously built by the by the people that live here. As Graham said earlier, what a day. So far I've climbed over fences, been scratched and poked by bushes to get this amazing footage of another elusive structure. We made it. That was fun. And um, the bell birds. Wow, yeah, unbelievable.
Wolfing has tail. And we're on our way to the second weir. Okay. Okay. Let's try and make our way along here without dying. <laughs> it's hard to believe that we are only 500 metres from the main street of Camden and the Argyle Bridge. We visited this area in day two last October and did not know this weir existed. Here is another example of what the director is making me endure to bring this day's adventure to you. I did not notice the size of the weeds as I was trying to survive. No one has been here for a very long time. And as it appears today, we are again on the wrong side of the river. The director mumbled something about better lighting. Just hold mine for a second. And here is Graham taking his time at the Nepean River Bridge, uh, Beach <laughs> while I'm still working. <laughs> Did it look like I wasn't working? You were just enjoying yourself at the beach. Ah, uh, at the beach. Like a beach whale. I think we're on the gate this way. Don't you think it's absolutely amazing, all this sand? Yeah. And by the way, we didn't walk this way. No, we, we, we came down steeper. I'm going to try and go up there. I think it might be easier. You know, I reckon it'd be better. Cut across that way. You've got a little bit of flat land there. Where you think there's ground, there's nothing but a hole. Yeah. Oh, come on. There you didn't Okay, I'm not in the sky anymore, Jeffrey. Come down. 
You can do the well. My favourite expression is better have and not want than want and not have. Well, I just want to get you walking. Yeah. <laughs> funny, funny. Here we are, Graham, coming down this track where Years and years and years and years ago, a farmer and his wife and family used to come down here on their little tractors and herd their cattle. And the Bargo River, the river is junction of the Nepean, which we're looking for, is somewhere amongst that scrub. And Graham's going to go and get us to somewhere up there. Because when we were at the Bargo on the other side, when we went to full circle, we couldn't actually see very clearly where the Bargo actually came and joined up with the Nepean. Although at that stage, what we, what we observed, there was more water in the, that particular section of the Bargo. It doubled the water, more than doubled the water that was in the Nepean. So. Why did they not continue the bar go? Does Nepean sound better, Graham? Yeah. So Nepean sounds better. I think Nepean was, was, you know, a more important person mm -hmm. than a smell. What do you smell? smell. Very strong, isn't it? I wish this had um, smell of vision because mm. we're smelling the. What is that? Clearing the nostrils. Made things very weird. Like a little trapping area. It is, isn't it? I don't think we can go much further. No. Ah, look, that looks promising. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Don't go any further. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's whatever it is. It's very clearing of the nostrils. I really don't know if this is the um, the right path we should be, well not path. Well that's got to be the uh, Nepean. Just depends on how far we've got to walk up to get to the Bargo. We might be too far downstream. There's a big hole down here. Okay, I'm coming. Hey. goes right up un underneath. Amazing. Look at that. Goes right up under there and right in under there. You can't see inside it. It's uh, too dark. I'm keeping away from the edge, thank you. <laughs> well, I have no orientation at all of where the river is or where the bargo might be coming in. If that's the headland there, then the Bargo comes. This is the Bargo. And yeah. It joins here. Otherwise, I mean, we have to walk miles. 
to get around this. Sorry, not doing that. Thing that <laughs> no, I said we'd have to. We, yeah. And there's not much water flowing in that, so I reckon that's the Bargo, and it joins the Nepean down here. So I think we've hit the nail right on the head. And I know there was a building right on the very end. If you came up, yes. Right, and there were two roads came up, yes. and one went right to the end. Yes. So Sharon's place is over there. Is that the valley there where the Nepean comes in? Remember when we saw it, there was pooling? Yeah. But there's no water running. Absolutely nothing. There's no water in that. No, but there's, 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 there's a... There's a there's oh, wait a minute, yes there is, look down there. There's a puddle. Down there, down there. Down there. Oh, down here. Yeah, well, Just over there. A little bit, yeah. I'll see if I can get it on camera. So you reckon we're, I'll we're see too if... far? South. I'll see if I can get that on camera. It's got to be just there. Which means we've got to go along that way. We're too far south. Now let's just work our way along this side. And see what we can see. Because it's pointless going that way because it goes around a big bend. And that's a kilometre around there. Through this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. This this way's a lot easier. And there's a big puddle there. What's he doing? That's it there. That's it there, right in front of us. Betcha. We can't get a can't get a good look at it. Well, folks, this is the director trying to find <laughs> trying to find the junction of the Bargo and the Pean. He's gone off again. Why? He's found it. He's found it, folks. Where is he going now? Every step takes me further away from the car. And that's it, that's an opinion. That comes from Pheasant's Nest. Up to here, the Bargo joins from the right. So how much of the river can you see? And it goes down to the left. How much of the Bargo can you see down there? Not much. You can't see much on, on the right. You can only see the gully from here. But you can see the water leaving down there. Once you get into the shadow, hard to um, to see oh, it in, in this light. Oh, mozzie. Okay. Sorry, the battery is just about flat, so we'll just head off back and record till the battery goes. Follow that underneath that big rock. One bat. Oh, someone's been digging there. We might get a shot of it. Goes around the corner. It keeps going. Hmm. Definitely one back. See, he goes around. You can see where he's been scratching? Claws. Just come up there a bit. Does that look walkable? Yeah, all right. That's the way it came down. Going home. The arduous trek back to the vehicle. We have seen the Bargo River from both sides now, and it was exciting to see how these two mighty rivers came together. Hope you enjoyed viewing this video as much as we did in making it. Of course you'll want to be notified when we next visit the Nepean, so press the bell. You should subscribe, share us with your friends, and click the like button if you did. See you next time. Bye!